What's good, Tarot Tribe? It's The Priest, and I'm back with another Pick a Card reading. In today's reading, I'm going to be bringing to you a direct message from the universe. Actually, it's going to be a text message from your future self. So if you guys are here, it's not by coincidence. I do believe that out of all the videos you guys could have watched, this is the video that you landed on for a reason. So I'm curious to see what the universe has to say to you. I'm thankful for you guys for allowing me to be a spiritual guide in your life and being open to the light that I bring on this channel. I really have found an unconditional love within you guys as my tribe. Like this has been a huge realization that I've had over the past few months, probably with all of this shifting going on of just realizing that I'm very grateful for you guys because this channel has allowed me to completely 100% be myself and expressing the truth and light without having to hold it back. And for that, it feels truly like unconditional love. So I'm grateful. So that's why I'm back. All right. I do enjoy bringing messages to you guys from the universe. This is something that I feel like is heavily connected on my personal path. So if you guys have not already followed me on Instagram at the tarot priest, exactly spelled like that, definitely go ahead and follow that page because I'm going to be posting a lot more personal things on my Instagram, including another channel that I'm going to be launching. So if you guys are here, that's all for the tribe. So that's a tribe message. So if you guys are still watching it, obviously that's just another confirmation that you are part of my soul tribe. So shout out to you. All right. If not, you probably have already clicked to your deck. So let's just go ahead and get into it. So we have four different decks that you can choose from here. Deck one, two, three, four. Again, you can choose any deck that's resonating towards you. You can find that in the pinned down comment or the description. Usually you can find the exact timestamp to your deck. All right, if you guys chose deck number one, this is your message from the universe. Okay, let's see what your overall theme is. Keeping up immense effort, advance. Okay, so if you guys chose deck number one, I'm hearing right away that you can have a fear that time is running out. Okay, this could be very subconscious. All right, this could be something that you're just, maybe you didn't see, maybe you didn't realize, maybe you're aware of it now. Okay, so there's like this, scarcity feeling of time okay that you're having and what it's doing is it's causing a lot of anxiety it's causing a lot of worry let's get a text message from your future self for deck one you need no reason to be worthy of abundance okay pay attention to how you feel around others let's go ahead and get some more energy here rest relaxation is essential okay I also feel like if you are deck one, <laughs> there's a need for you to really communicate. We have a lot of blue here, okay? This is like all about the throat chakra. There's really a desire for you to, from your soul level, to be able to communicate how you feel and express how you feel. Part of this is your boundaries with other people, okay? So basically you're coming up as somebody who could be absorbing energy from people around you, and usually that is an empath. Okay, we have the seven of swords in reverse. We have the king of fire here. And then your theme is the five of cups, yeah. All right. We all have a fundamental need to take a break. All right, so this feeling like you have to be somewhere, that you have to keep up with something, all right? It could be very subconscious. I'm picking up Aries energy. You don't have to be an Aries, but I am picking up Aries energy. We also have true manifestations are powered and serviced by love. So in this, what the universe wants you to know, if you guys are here, deck number one, is that you're learning how to communicate how you feel, expressing how you feel, and you don't have to know why you feel that way to address how you feel, okay? Part of this, once again, is your boundaries with others because we do have the seven of air. We also have some plans that maybe have not been working out. Maybe there's some frustration that has been coming through. Let's look at that. If you guys are deck number one, okay? Okay, we have things not turning out as wanted a few times. And I really do feel like that's because deck one, you have really been trying to manifest this on your own. And I've been talking a lot about this. Manifestation is not an action. You will get burnt out trying to manifest anything. You are already manifesting. Okay, deck number one, and it doesn't have to be serious. 
right? This energy doesn't have to be um, so serious when it comes to the life that the universe is desiring for you to live, right? There's a lot of misconception here that you have around what you have to do to be abundant, um, how you have to manifest four of swords. And there's a need to kind of just chill right now, okay? So the universe wants you to really take a step back. And the reason being is because I feel like you're doing many things that are not in your job caliber, okay? A lot of you, if you're here, you're doing the universe's work. And that's why you're exhausted or you're finding yourself exhausted or needing boundaries here. We have the regret card. We have the betrayal card. We also have a lack of creativity. So this could be affecting your energy. All right. The people around you that you may not know. Anytime you're around someone, you are in their vibration. It doesn't matter if they're in their other room. Their presence is still a vibration here. So you're learning how to really care for yourself, really love, love yourself when you when you can feel yourself feeling heavy around a certain energy, not to go around it so often. And if it's something that's uh, around you that you feel like you're trapped to be around, then I just see that the, the universe is here to help you, okay? So another thing that I'm picking up for you is that your manifestations are not coming because you're working hard. They're not coming because you're manifesting. They're coming because they are serviced by love, meaning that we get what we desire because the universe loves us unconditionally unconditionally means we have to do nothing to receive this okay so there's a there's really a deeper level with the universe that you are learning to have and it's going to give you the courage to speak up okay we have the chariot you could be a cancer you don't have to be but we do have the chariot we have this way or that way so some of you could be at a crossroads and that's really what i'm hearing is that means not to make a decision but to take a step back and get some rest now, once again, with the rest, the reason why that's important is because it's like you have to be asleep to dream. And that's a problem. The, the universe wants you to be able to experience the dream while being awake. Right. But the only time you let the universe in is when you're sleeping, you're resting. And what this tells me is that you have had so much control or trying to control so many situations that it burns you out, it exerts your energy. And that is because it's a sign that you are not allowing the universe to help you. Okay, because you're not doing this. I was gonna say on your own, but they're very clear. You're not doing this, okay? You're allowing this to happen, all right? There's a lot to learn here. And one thing is really just strengthening your connection with the universe, all right, we have embrace 11. So you guys could be seeing one, one, one. You could be seeing 11. You could be seeing three, 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 because we do have that here. Let's get one more text message from future self. Just because you can't see it doesn't mean it's not happening. Yeah, so a lot of you, if you're relying on what you see, it, there could be a lot of discouragement there because some of you think, think that things are not turning out, things are not manifesting, but they actually are. Okay, they're right in front of you. Um, but I do think that some of you are, you have a very particular experience that you're trying to manifest. And I feel like that is also kind of what's making you resist it, to just kind of allow some room into it, allow some space for the universe to come in. Yeah, and we have guidance, 3-3. Three, three. So if you've been seeing 3-3 three, three, or 3-3-3, three, 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 what I like to see is this is just th the holy trinity. Okay, and I just feel like the missing piece here is the universe, is this guidance that you are missing that maybe you have been relying so heavily on your logic intellect to guide you, all right? But I wanna see what it is that you guys are going towards, okay? We have celebration at the bottom of the deck. Deck one, message from the universe, thank you. All right, we have trust, all right? So we have letting go. All right. Letting go is just not it's not always of people. It's really of how the way you the way that you used to think about things. OK. Understanding you have more power than you than you believe. All right. So you're letting go of how you used to see yourself. That's something that's coming through. You're letting go of the doubt. Um, the lack. There's a lot of lack of trust here. OK. A lack of trust. Really 
establishing and nurturing this connection with the universe okay with this guidance that's with you if you guys chose deck number one this is very specific to you to embrace this natural guidance that is coming in some of you are relying too heavily on your physical eyes to see change but understand the change comes within and then it reflects outside of you okay so there's much more for you to understand here now we have trust overcoming fear intentions and having faith all right so once again you have a lot of desires okay and and you will always have a desires because you are soul with the body okay not vice versa let's see what else is going on the moon here so we have pisces energy all right so some of you are really going to be knocking at the door to some psychic abilities realizing that you're predicting some of these things that are happening and occurring in your life and that you can continue to create better experiences through love and not fear okay so there's a need to really rest okay that's coming through from from your future self and higher self and then really just understanding that you're worthy of this abundance that's coming in for you so let's see what that's about deck one all right we have the nine of swords and then we also have the queen of wands here at the bottom of the deck, okay? All right, let's clarify why this nine of swords is here in the reverse, okay? If you see a lot of these cards, they're resting. They're exhausted, there's a need for rest, and there's a need for letting go of control, all right? Letting something else guide you other than yourself. Otherwise, you will get exhausted. Let's see what's to come for deck number one. What do you want them to know? They're here for a reason. What exactly do you want deck one to know? All right, friendship. Seek out your soul family. Surround yourself with positive people. Spend more time socializing, okay? So it seems like the people around you, there's really a shift that is happening in your relationships, specifically in your friendships, Okay, with here, this is what you're headed to, more solid friendships where you're being and feeling reciprocated, your energy is not feeling drained or absorbed. And in this case, you're open to receiving guidance from higher self. Understand that your future self, source, universe, whatever you believe is working with you, okay? There's really um, a, a deeper understanding of understanding love. It's way bigger than just a relationship. Okay, it's coming through in your friendships is where you're headed. And there's also going to be more of a love for yourself in your creative endeavors. As you realize that you can nurture some of these creative gifts that you have, you're coming up as a creator. There's abilities that are unseen that have been hidden from you, not simply because you weren't ready to believe in them is what I'm getting. There could be fear there. Um, and once again, relying very heavily on what you see physically. So your future self really wants you to be open to this abundance that is coming in your life, abundance of love, an abundance of creative solutions, an abundance of creative ideas for some of you, an abundance of friendships. And all you have to do is be open to embracing them, okay? You don't have to keep up, you don't have to make this happen. All you're doing is allowing this to happen in your life by simply being open to embrace it. Being open to embrace it is allowing the guidance to come through. You have ancestors here that are coming through as well with the guidance. Some of you are connected to um, many ancient ancestors is what I'm hearing. And anyone who inspires you, it doesn't matter if it's Egyptian, Greek mythology, anything that you're inspired by are answers and clues to who you are. This is a beautiful discovery. All right. So celebrate the mystery of it instead of anticipating it with anxiety just allowing it to happen and once again when you have a connection with the universe god you god source whatever you choose to believe there is a level of comfort and peace knowing that you're okay no matter what it looks like okay so wow deck one there is like um a lot of emotions that you have been dealing with and I think that's where the rest is coming forward here. And I really feel like it's time for a pit stop. All right, let's get one last card on what this rest looks like. Support, okay? Yeah, support. So something, someone is coming in, either you're manifesting someone around you, 
who is going to become a very great best friend where you feel unconditionally loved. You can be yourself. Um, a friendship, it could be a romantic connection, it could be a community connection, it could be a life coach that you attract, it could be a mentor that you're attracting. Get more rest. Literally, on the card again, I can't make it up. Get more rest. And I get it, <laughs> I get it, okay? Nurture yourself and ask for help. So do not be afraid to ask for help. Again, once again, I'm getting like that Aries energy where there's like this really strong protective just armor of strength which is a beautiful thing but in this case scenario there's a requirement of gentleness to be able to be open to this support and loving care and guidance that's trying to come through to you so one last card for deck one thank you we have discernment all is not what it seems Stay true to your knowing and keep your dreams a secret. Once again, we're getting a lot of the red and the orange. Okay, lots of passion that's getting ready to come back into your life with the wands. You guys could be a fire sign or have fire in your chart. Leo, Sag, Aries, once again. And this energy, when used uh, correctly in alignment with just feeling good, feeling happy, feeling joy, feeling pleasure, all of this is in your sacral chakra and your root chakra. This is going, this is what everything is founded upon. Your relationships, okay, um, is the foundation for which everything is, is kind of being built upon, how you feel about your relationship. So it's like there's cracks in your foundation that need uh, some observation, okay? And there's a lot of creative endeavors that I see you're going to get into, and there's no you don't have to share this with everyone because not everyone's going to believe. And if you believe in them and they don't believe in you, there's a conflict here out of alignment because that means that they have a little bit more power of influence over you over yourself. Okay, so there's, there's a resting and a protective kind of like cab cocoon that the universe is placing you in or trying to place you in so that you can receive. Um, so that you can get rejuvenated, so that ideas can flow, creativeness can flow, joy can flow back in, energy can rise, vibration can rise, all right? And then you're becoming the queen of wands here, which is um, a feminine approach of your, of your creative desires and aspirations, which is, once again, just compassion towards these things, really being able to take the time to nurture it. And it's like you could be more productive, deck number one, just imagining and meditating where you desire to experience or what you desire to experience rather than actively going, 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 right? Action, that's why I was saying there's like a lot of action here, but it's, it's not necessary. It's more of a vibration. So that way you don't have to drain yourself, all right? So that's really what I'm seeing for you directly from the universe. If you guys are looking for this text message deck for just daily aspirations, you can find that at thepriestdecks.com or anything else at I'm ready to wake up .com or the tarotpriest.com or anything else in my description box below. If you guys chose deck number one, sending you guys so much love and light, moving on to deck number two. All right, if you guys chose deck number two, this is your message directly from the universe. Let's see what the overall theme was. I wonder what will happen next. Ready to adventure? Something of change pause before action something is really getting ready to shift in your life we have number two so this is a big year for you okay really really big year for you the year is not over is what i'm hearing all right i feel like actually things are going to pick up more because you're letting go of the pressure of it having to happen you know when the new year comes there's all this pressure of like oh i gotta make this happen by the end of the year i feel like now that we're towards the end of the year the pressure has let up and so I feel like for some of you, it's like the message is the year is not over. There's still something really big that's destined to happen for you specifically. If you're here at deck number two, you're the only one who's getting this message. And you were also the only one who had two cards. So two is once again, very significant to you. <laughs> um, nature communication. So you are going to be experiencing, you already have, maybe you just are not aware of this. Um, communication from nature so it could be through certain birds through certain colors everything is a message don't go crazy with it but truly everything is a message the colors um the animals but in specifically 
we have fury energy flower energy and elemental messenger so the weather i don't know why i'm getting that but some of you could definitely uh, feel different during certain weather so whatever this is it is really just being more self-aware even with this specific crystal i feel like this is more so of the third eye you becoming more aware of what's around you not that it was never happening it's more so of you not being aware of it happening now that there's a sense of awareness awakeness you can kind of, you you will be able to see the communication from nature animals how they feel the presence once again everything is a message okay so there's a lot of color coming in um for you deck number two let's see what your overall energy is and then we'll see okay we have eight of air and let's get future text messages from your future self so if your future self were to text you right now what would your future self say all because you believe i love that we also have you are worthy of what you are asking for anything else yeah feel good before it comes all right perfect yeah this is my text message from future self deck you guys can find that below but this is basically if your future self were to text you right now okay so some of you are going through a huge transition with the aid of air you are freeing yourself you are following the truth the truth is is that you are not trapped that's the truth you are not trapped there is a way out and sometimes it has to get really dark for you to see which way to go because the light is so subtle this light is also you is what I'm getting. You have been so subtle. So to find you, there had to be so much contrast of darkness around you. Once again, I don't know why I'm getting this. So many things for you to be able to see the light, okay? Understand that the universe uses everything, even if it seems bad or doesn't appear to be good for your good, okay? Another level of trust. In order for you to even be free from the situation that you're freeing yourself from now, there is a uh, need for you to believe that you are not trapped, for you to be open to the possibilities of other ways that you just are not simply seeing. There is infinite possible ways for you to receive what you're asking for, but do you feel worthy of it? Some of you are resisting it because you feel like there's more conditions. Like, okay, well, before I can get this, I have to do this and I have to do that. That is saying, I will not, I'm not worthy of what I'm asking for until I have this. Once again, the universe can deliver your desires anyway, okay? Think of it as a package delivery. But if you don't feel worthy of the, of the delivery, you're just resisting it. Some of you, this is subconsciously not knowing why you don't feel worthy, okay? Let's get the energy for eight of air. An illusion of being trapped, a lack of self-confidence, okay? Really trusting in who you are. If you knew who you are, you would know that you could never be trapped. Solutions will always come to you at the right time. Money will always show up at the right time. And if it doesn't, then once again, it's always redirection. Redirection into another path. Sometimes it's great that the money didn't show up in that space because it made you look somewhere else. So every single thing that's happening is for your benefit. There's really a desire that, you're, that the universe is saying that of trust. You have to trust that we're on the same team, okay? So we have death, Scorpio energy. So yeah, there's, there's a real deep desire to trust in this period, okay? Could definitely be around Scorpio season that you guys are making some of these huge changes, okay? Um, doesn't have to be because this is a timeless video. Let's see what the universe is inspiring you. I feel my way into faith one step at a time. So understanding this relationship with the universe, what the universe is saying is, this is a relationship like no other, okay? So to nurture it, to, to have faith in it one step at a time and just to be open, be open to miracles, be open to not having to do anything for beautiful things to happen, okay? We also have balance in reverse, Sagittarius energy, okay? The need for balance and moderation, cooperation and compromise, wait for perfect timing. So some of you really 
with this ready to adventure, it's like when you have, when you don't know what's gonna happen, anything can happen. But when you start knowing and planning specifically what you want to happen, and then they don't, there becomes discouragement. And what I'm really feeling is that there is an adventure and the more that you don't know, the more exciting it, it's going to be and the more miracles you're going to receive because you don't know. If you know everything, there's no room that you're leaving for the universe to deliver unexpectedly. But if you're just expecting it in one direction, once again, then that's where the, the spiritual balance comes in. Okay, spiritual balance here with your emotions. For deck one, it was more of logic. Deck two, it's emotions and trusting something higher than you, which in the sense, your third eye, okay? We also have the night of water, falling in love or wedding proposals, the need to balance emotions, crazy. That's literally what I was getting, okay? So your emotions are very important because it's communication and there is, it looks like some of you guys could definitely be attracting a partner. We'll go ahead and get the confirmation on that. Um, but I'm seeing that whatever it is you're freeing yourself from, you're going towards something that's a little bit more emotional, fulfilling, a lot more enthusiastic, a lot more adventurous, and a lot more romantic. This, this is a relationship for some, let's get clarity. Yeah. First of all, I need, I'm going to get clarity on the eight of air, which is what you are. Okay. Thank you. Queen of swords. Okay. So spirit is going to give you the solution and the, the exact path and the plan for you to free yourself from whatever situation this is. What situation is this? Page of swords. What situation is this? Thank you. Okay. All right. For some of you, it could definitely be a relationship for some of you. Okay, take it how it resonates. I see that you are really freeing yourself from your own self-sabotage, your own self-belief, uh, disbelief, all right? So this is, yes, for some of you, there is relationships that you are leaving. For, for a few of you, this could be a romantic situation. We have the higher font and we have the 10 of cups in reverse, not bringing in emotional fulfillment, but you're going towards something that is, that's one timeline that I have here. Now, for the general population, you are freeing yourself from feeling like you have to do it yourself, okay? That this plan is something you have to miraculously come up with. This plan, this path towards your abundance that you're asking for, towards this uh, romantic connection that is coming in and romantic connections that will come in, is being guided and led through your future self, through the universe, so if you are trying to do everything yourself with your own um, beliefs, that's what you're really freeing yourself from. Some of these beliefs that you have that are just simply not true. They're not true about yourself. They're not true about love. They're not true about your future. Okay, let's get another one more card. That's why you guys had two cards. Definitely. Thank you. You were meant to shine. Okay. So you were meant to shine directly from your future self, okay? This is not a coincidence that you're getting this. So you were meant to shine. So some of you could definitely be, have had attracted a lot of low vibrational energy um, in your path. Let's see what else is here. We had steadfastness and we also have delight. Lots of color is coming back. Lots of vibrancy is coming back into your life is what I'm seeing. Lots of confidence is coming back. It's important that you feel good and everything plays a part in feeling good. It's like a specific chemistry, once again, because I always say this, feeling good is feeling God. It's the closest way that we can feel this vibration of unconditional love. So whatever isn't making you feel good, it literally doesn't matter what it is. It doesn't matter their circumstance behind it and the storyline behind it. If it doesn't make you feel good, there, there has to be an adjustment in alignment of feeling good or it has to be released. It's just that simple. When you feel good, you're going to attract good. You're going to attract delightful things. You have blessings coming in by the end of this year, as I mentioned, and they're coming in very fast. You were meant to shine. You were meant to be seen. Let's see what this is. Listen with your heart. You are listening, but need to hear with a loving heart. Okay. So with the higher font here, 
there is a deeper spiritual connection that is coming through for you. It's going to allow you to see the magic in the world. It's going to allow you to see the light in your life for, for once. Um, even with this death card here, let's go ahead and clarify why this is here. Death, thank you. Eight of Swords, two times, okay? And I'm very familiar with the Eight of Swords because I actually have it tattooed on me where the bird is free, but the person is in the cage. And it's all about being mentally convincing that somewhere you have convinced yourself that you can't get there or this is difficult or maybe I will never, whatever the case may be. And those thoughts are not true. Where you are headed, yeah, we have received here coming through, okay? Those thoughts are not true. Anything here about this, thank you. All right, some of you are going through a rebirth or could have been going through a rebirth. Everything that's going to happen good in your life is happening simply because you believe it doesn't require anything more. All because you believe you are worthy. All because you feel good. So you're meant to shine. You're meant to feel good. You're meant to for others to see you. That's coming through very clearly here. All right. And then we also have listening with your heart and we have goddess. Once again, meant to shine. Honor your divine feminine energy. See your inner beauty. Love every part of you. There's a reconciliation that you're having with yourself, deck number two. That's the biggest way I can describe what the hell has been going on in the past, whatever, okay? And it's really changing and going to shift your perspective to see the beauty in the world and the positive positivity in the world. Like I said, there sometimes it has to be really dark for you to see your light because your light has been so low, all right? Let's get clarity on this night of water coming through. This would be the night of cups. This would be an offer in love coming through. What is this here for? Six of swords, okay? For some of you, it's requiring you to definitely move forward, okay? From, from who you used to be, how you used to think about love, all right? We also have the seven of cups, all right? So I do feel like this message is whatever you desire is what is going to happen next. And for some of you, I do feel like love is here. Let's get one more card. Some of you guys could be dreaming about this, okay? Whatever this, this person is, whoever this person is, all right, the tower. Some of you guys could be afraid that this person is not coming in for those of you who are waiting for a person. All right, once again, deck two, you had two cards. It's like the most complex deck and it's really um, because of which decision you're going to choose. You want to know what's going to happen next, but it's based on the next choice that you make. So we have six of swords. If you decide to say in the eight of swords, I, I literally cannot make this up. Like, look at this card. I hope it's, I hope it's focusing. I hope. This way or that way. Cancer energy. Three of swords. Some of you are afraid of what's hap gonna happen next. Instead of seeing it from that place, be excited that anything can happen next. And not to focus on the low vibration in which that is. You have wealth coming in here with the 10 of Pentacles. If you so decide, it's crazy the way the cards are laid. If you decide to stay in a certain situation, okay, where you are not feeling fulfilled or you are not, it doesn't even matter why. You have a choice of what will happen by the end of this year. If you choose to let go of whatever it is that maybe is bringing you heaviness, whatever the case may be, you have a 10 of pinnacles here at the bottom, which is a full committed uh, relationship, career. Again, put whatever your desire is in here but in this sense, it is over the night of water, so this feels like a relationship. So some of you who are moving out of the relationship, um, some of you who are in a relationship, moving out of past situations and really being moved. And, and again, it's like I, I'm i seeing the 10 of cups in reverse though. So whatever your situation is, it's just not looking like it's f bringing fulfillment. Why is the 10 of cups in reverse? Okay, okay, there's love here. There is love here with the king of cups. All right, so there is love here. Um, and the Ace of Pentacles is here. 
and the page of wands is here okay so some of you it's it looks like it's a very interesting relationship situation that you guys got going on here so those of you who decide to stay in this relationship it's more so of really developing it into something a little bit more stable grounded and emotionally sound for those of you who are moving out of the relationship and really are resonating with that or maybe are feeling like there's like a transitioning that's happening in your relationship you are moving towards more of a committed relationship once again this would be the house the children the dogs um, if this is what again you're desiring here this is also for some of you moving out of how you used to think about um, career is bringing you a better career opportunity in your life once again so take that how it resonates all right so sticky little situation here with the love but um on another note let's see what it's what you have to look forward to that the universe wants you to know before we head out polarity i i seriously i can't make this up you guys it's like the universe is really like delivering like tag team right here what have we been talking about the dark okay polarity so the universe uses polarity light and dark as balance contrast struggles things that we go through to redirect us not for tests and lessons like throw a lesson in there no this is because you have been avoiding some type of guidance or there's a requirement of growth involved. And so whatever it is you choose, the universe just so uses that to make you stronger. That's how brilliant the universe is. It says, integrate your shadow side. So instead of getting rid of this all, just integrating it and trusting that, hey, it's the shadows that brought out the light. So if I take away the shadows, you know what I mean? There can be no light without dark. There could be no you without dark understand the law of polarity okay it's not happening to you it's happening for you literally and it's everything is pushing you into a direction of light of being the goddess that you are meant to be um using your heart as your gps and not so much your mind and how you used to think all right and even with how you think about love that's coming up very strongly here okay love is blind to conditions it doesn't matter no condition matters when it comes to love. Love is blind to conditions, okay? That has been the quote for the past two months here. All right, guys, I'm headed on to deck number three. You guys got me going over over here, and I'm hoping that I brought you guys some encouragement. If you guys are looking for this deck, you can find it at thepriestdecks.com. If you're looking for anything else, you can find it down below in the description. Stay tuned. I'm going to be dropping some more videos. In the meantime, moving on to deck three. The yeah, show's deck number three. This is your message directly from the universe. So overall, your message is no need to fear. Remember how powerful you are. So you could have definitely resonated with deck two. You, didn't, you don't have to, uh, but I definitely feel like you could have resonated with deck two. I feel like something, some of you may have awakened to a dream within you. Maybe that was very profound or maybe a gift that you have or maybe you're on the brink of doing this and it, it could bring a little fear or instill a little fear in you by how big it appears to be as far as how big the dream appears to be but remember that you're never doing this alone and that this is what you're called to do whatever this is okay let's see more information i love you these are powerful words okay so some you guys could definitely be attracting um, a true love or attracting more love into your life in general through your relationships. We also have, I can decide today to recalibrate my energy and commit to love and joy. So spirit is basically saying to you, if you are here, the universe is saying that the only thing that really matters is love and joy. All right. So if your future self were to text message you right now, what would they say? don't overlook what you know so some of you have a lot of expertise that you're overlooking maybe feeling like you need more something that i'm hearing very clearly is just to simply trust that even you as a person your characteristic traits your zodiac chart every single thing that has been given to you is perfectly crafted for your benefit so you are already equipped for the dream that you're here to live that's the message you're already equipped, you have everything, you have the expertise, you don't need to go learn more, less, of course, you are inspired. 
But if you feel like I have to, that is, a, that is not a vibration of love and joy. That's a vibration of fear and lack. I have to. You're literally telling on yourself. You're saying, I don't want to. I have to. Okay, so you're focusing on recalibrating your energy on what you want to. All right, let's get another text message from your future self. If it feels good, follow it. It's that simple, right? That's literally the message. All right, guys, see you guys in deck four. All right, see you in deck four. Love and light. Because at the end of the day, if it feels good, follow it. All right? Even if it's a thought about you and your dream, the life that you're meant to live, the, the life partner that you're sharing this experience here on earth with. Let's get your current energy. You're coming up as the fool uh, right off the bat, which is also coming off to me as the alchemist, more so of the dreamer. This is someone who has the awareness of understanding that they are not doing it alone, that they trust a leap of faith. Taking a leap without faith, you're gonna land straight on your face literally <laughs> because the momentum under your wings is the faith all right so these messages are like so magical that are coming through here so whoever you are you are either opening up your third eye to this insight or you are starting to see it for yourself okay so as the dreamer you are now becoming awake okay that's the next level is where you're you're yes this is the dream but you're awake and you're aware of it being the dream. Imagine if you could have a dream and you're awake and you're aware and you're like, okay, this is a dream. I'm about to do this, I'm gonna do this. Never happens. Soon as you are aware in the dream, you wake up here. So there's so many things that are important to your dream. So dream journal, um, follow your dreams. Unexpected opportunities. So some of you may once again have uncovered a dream or you're going towards a dream that seems so big but we have to take out that word big everything is the same everything is everything it's source energy okay and you are energy like attracts like so whatever it is that you're imagining you're imagining it for a specific reason understanding imagination is you seeing through the eyes of the universe of your future self how else could you have the ability to see something that you cannot see here physically? I really feel like deck three, you could be overlooking some magic in your life and you're becoming more aware of that. And I do see unexpected opportunities coming through because of that. Okay, so we also have ego, which is the devil coming up here, a false sense of entrapment, a false sense of self. Who you were being is not who you really are. It's who you were being out of protection, out of fear, could be out of validation, could be out of what you thought. You just simply innocently thought that this was you, okay? But I do see being overly focused on material things, negative or fear-based thoughts. We're gonna get some clarity as to why the devil is here. We have Capricorn energy, okay? So some of you guys could be dealing with the Capricorn. You don't have to be, or you could be a Capricorn. All right, let's see why this energy is here with the dreamer and the devil. Okay, so it's almost like there's this back and forth that I'm feeling, okay, with your ego and you, your true self. And I've been speaking a lot about this also in a lot of the webinars I've been teaching. This is truly, uh, if you've heard it before, you're going to hear it again. And it's a, just another confirmation for you to know that there is a sense of duality here going on. If you've ever seen like a devil and an angel on one shoulder, this may be something that you could be experiencing internally, going back and forth through doubt and fear of then believing and going back. And so you're being asked to just release your ego, your false sense of self. And, and even your name is a part of, it's not you, it's your name. It belongs to someone. It's a name that belongs to someone. It's not you. Okay, so there's, there's this, who am I? There's this deeper, when you know how powerful you are, there's nothing to fear. You know who you are. What would you fear? So 10 of, ten of swords, we have just release it even here at the bottom of the deck. 10 of swords, something that has to really be released here, some type of cycle, some type of ending, 
all right? I feel like it's the way that you used to go towards your dreams, how you would be hesitant, maybe resistant, maybe planning it, whereas I see that you're just releasing how you used to do things in a positive manner. So let's go ahead and get some energy here. Yeah, the sun. Well, that's good to see out of all these decks, because damn. All right, so with the sun card, this is happiness, joy, once again. All right, coming into your life restoration. So some of you guys, someone around you could be pregnant or someone could have just had a baby, bringing more, um, birthing more um, dreams into existence. And it's also being showed here through um, actual babies as well, children. So that could be prevalent in your life. Um, so there's a sense of really getting rid of um, this false sense of self and becoming best friends with your ego instead of because you can't get rid of it it's your it's the identity and the character that you play here in this life okay and if you're here and i'm a, i'm talking like this that tells me that you are on a higher vibration spiritually than most of the world not everyone can even understand this level of communication knowing that we are a dual we're a soul with a body and our body has a mind your mind and that mind could have been self-sabotaging in the past could have been rejected in the past, could have been discouraged in the past, could have went towards something and maybe didn't work out in the past. And if we rely on that intellect, we also fall into the loop of it because it, your mind, your ego doesn't know how to get out of that. All right, so with that being said, you must trust there's a balance here that's coming in with your spirituality and your practicality, okay? You must really trust something higher than yourself and continue to do that because what this is all about for you is it's very simple. Love and joy. When you're in love, you're attracting love. Okay, whether you're in love with you, whether you're in love with your life, whether you're in love with your doing YouTube, all of it adds to the energetic vibration of love in your life. So where is the love? Okay, and it goes to loving you too, loving yourself like talking to yourself like dang like you always have a fear you always get in the way you always want to know you know you're going to experience that because that is the truth we're we're dual <laughs> we are dual so 10 of water we have a contented and rewarding family life your emotional and material needs are being met trustworthy relationships are coming in the universe wants you to know that so whatever it is you're releasing closing cycles on it is already you have either already attracted or are attracting joy a relationship a friendship here your family so even some of you could be starting a family building a family um, once again could for very few of you guys could be pregnant you don't have to be but the pregnancy for those of you who are pregnant is really just a sign of love and joy it's just to to duplicate the love and joy that's already in your life so that's for a few of you guys who are pregnant wow this is my favorite card in this deck enlightenment okay purple all right so this level of enlightenment that you achieved which i knew there's only one reason that i could even have this conversation with you deck three because not everyone is going to understand this all right so yourself gets in the way sometimes when you're going after some of these dreams because they seem big. And of course, yourself does not know how it's going to work out. All right. All you can do is trust and, and have faith. And you have reached, I believe, a certain level of enlightenment if you are here. Um, and that is actually very rare to do. So I do feel like once again, you are overlooking what you know. OK, because you are enlightened to some degree. You can see the light so clearly. All right. So you are here to be enlightened. You are here to be led by the universe so that you can be a testimony of miracles and good things to come. What you've been through is what you've been through. Now you're leading towards nothing but love, including a relationship, a very profound relationship. If you are here. OK, let's get some more on that. All right. Well, we have plenty of cards that came out. All right. We have the Emperor Aries in reverse. We have the Two of Pentacles, the Four of Cups, and the High Priestess. Yeah, I feel like this person could be coming in very fast. Your higher self, I feel like some of you attracted this person or are attracting this person in your life. The only thing that is bringing concern to me is your Four of Cups. So in order to get, in order to, 
your dreams are very important to everything, okay? And we also have the Four of Cups. I just want to see why that is here because that's something that is bringing a little bit of concern. Four of Cups, thank you. Nine of Pentacles. All right, yeah, it's very important that you feel worthy. That is huge. It's very important that you feel worthy. This is connected to everything, your relationships, um, worthy of this connection with the universe and God, that God actually does love you and it's not as tainted as it was perceived to be in some of these religions. So I do see that you're gonna be an example of the light. You're here to follow the light, follow the truth. Enlightenment is very important to your journey. I see that you're also attracting some some type of support, some type of support in your career for financial stability for those of you. I feel like your passion, your dreams are meant to bring in abundance and wealth for you. And once again, a life partner, if you haven't already, whoever this person is, they're a dreamer as well. It's a very trustworthy relationship. You will feel the connection. You will know the connection. Um, it'll be very certain to you, but I do see that letting go of you not feeling like you're worthy of this or like you need to do something in order to receive it or maybe you need to it doesn't matter if it's get a better job do this da, 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 da. it doesn't really matter okay once again you're really releasing that you're coming up as the star card and a nine of cups so a wish come true is coming in very very soon for you if you are here deck number three a wish and a dream that you have is coming soon and it's all because you believe aquarius energy here too let's see another text message from your future self deck three all right you are the author of your life story so you are the one who is writing the book if you are lacking confidence you've lost sight of who you are your confidence comes from your certainty of knowing who you are okay if you knew you were michael jordan you wouldn't be tripping right because you know who you are you know who you are so you're not going to be tripping on nothing like that's what you have to follow that's what you have to you have to trust and know and get to know yourself more and then even on another side your ego your ego which is your identity okay it's it's you this character once again this character that you're playing here so get to know that person doesn't go away you know what i mean i'm still a daughter with a dad and a mom like there's still a storyline to the ego where there could be a, a, a perfect balance of spiritually knowing that you're just here and you're playing a part in this story to experience it. All right, you're here to live your dream and your ego is, is meant to be your best friend, not your enemy, not something that you have to battle every day. It's meant to be like this and that's what self-love is, but you have to get to know yourself. And trust that everything that you have already is enough expertise to bring in the abundance that you desire. Everything you desire, you already, you already have it. You are it. Your desire, just like your mind, it is a part of you. It's just so many things. Insight, okay? So you guys could definitely be healers. You could be tarot readers, all right? And there's, there's maybe a, a newer expansion that's coming in your way. All right, it's not just about being spiritual and helping people, that's beautiful, that's one aspect of it. But it is also following your passions, following your dreams so that you can inspire others in which you will inspire more that way by simply living your dream than having to talk about this. You know, you living it, you being it, embodying it is, is, is the purpose. And that is what is teaching people more than anything and gravitating towards people more than anything. So insight, more speaking up okay this is also the third eye even though it's coming off across as blue with the throat chakra this is also the third eye this is a crown chakra so insight so once again very powerful you are very powerful deck three very powerful and you might hear this often you might hear this often you're very powerful and if there is doubt then there is a disconnect of clarity of exactly the strengths that you have and who you are and how much power you do have. Lastly, this power is being given to you from source, universe and God, okay? So the stronger that connection is, the more powerful you become by allowing source to work through you. So this is very deep. Um, this is really more so of a confirmation for you guys. If you guys are here, um, deck number three, you are really on the verge of attracting your wish come true and the universe is just coming here to remind you that this is what you're here to do there's nothing to fear here 
All right. So if you guys chose deck number three, don't forget to check out the description box if you're looking for anything, including this deck, thepriestdecks.com. You can find that at thepriestdecks.com. All right, deck number four. This is the message directly from the universe. Your overall theme is becoming braver. All right, so resilient, experience, growing stronger, and fresh perspective. So I'm seeing right off the bat that you guys could be experiencing conflict, whether that's internally or externally with the five here. So what this conflict in contrast is doing is it's basically helping you become more braver. In a sense, the universe is using these experiences to encourage you to be braver in your life to be braver to choose you, um, to be braver to not care about what people think of you, uh, and to really just live true to you because there's a level of freedom that you are truly desiring to live, and this level is coming more so from a place of expression, being able to be yourself truly and completely, and there is a fresh perspective that is gonna be coming for you. I feel like, once again, you could be drawn to another deck here, Let's see what the universal message is. When I connect to the spiritual realm, I open the door to receive divine guidance, clear direction, and great wisdom. Let's see what your other card is. Appreciate this moment. Every situation is an opportunity to grow and find love. Innocence. And last but not least, spiritual quest. What this has also done is obviously ignited your spiritual quest and Every moment that you're going through something, there is a level of appreciation that I feel like you've had. And this is really what's been allowing you to remain open to the universe is by your innocence, okay? Your childlike wonder is actually more important than you think. This also allows you to kind of release this feeling of having to do it yourself or having to control things or make things happen. Um, and there's also a level of just trusting the universe more here with maybe just having to have your trust broken many times in the past is also affecting your relationship with your, your spiritual connection. All right. So this, this is a, your text message directly from future self successful opportunities are on the horizon. So everything with success is on the horizon for you. There is more for you to explore. And we also have, you must believe in the power that you have. Last text message from your, your future self. Your life experience will be the blueprint to empower others. So you have been building your testimony. You have been writing your book unknowingly and I feel like some of you maybe want to know why certain things are happening. Once again, it is the contrast, the dark that is really helping you see the light within you. All right, 10 of earth, a very happy family life in the, we'll go ahead and clarify what this is. We also have Aries energy with the emperor here, okay? So we have financial situations um, that could be affecting you right now, that could be affecting some of your decisions. Some of you just desire to be um, a child. <laughs> it's like um, where the world is the playground and the universe takes care of you, meaning things can happen miraculously in this way. I feel like this is actually the life that you are intended to live, which if that sounds impossible, then that, that could show you many things about where your vibration is. Yeah, we have the five of wands. So we do have a lot of conflict. We also, once again, this conflict, it could be doubt. Okay, fear, resilience to really dive into the spiritual connection um, and also with just going after your dream. Some of you could want to start a business here with leadership and the emperor. Let's get clarity on that for deck four. Yeah, some of you guys could be waiting for opportunities here. Uh, many opportunities and really i'm seeing that this reading for you if you are here it's to shift your energy to shift your vibration to let you know that successful opportunities are on the horizon 
and that you are here to explore once again to have like a childlike perspective of innocence to be happy and joyful and trust that the universe is taking care of you and also trusting that the universe is connected to all mm, yeah for sure for sure all right something that i'm hearing is for you deck four this feels like more of an encouragement even in your relationships with just lack of harmony maybe that you've been experiencing or something that you've been really desiring i want to get more information deck four deck four yeah there's something really 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 important about unity really important about harmony in your relationships in your family all right some of you may be moving away from your family moving away from certain relationships to take the spiritual quest the spiritual quest is simply getting to know you and discovering what you want without the outside opinions of others or expectations of others and you can do that and this bravery is going to come from understanding that you're connected with something much higher this is what's going to give you the confidence to go after and build the organizations you want to build because once you take the spiritual quest and you discover who you truly are you will know the power that you do have i also feel like everything that you've been through is something that you may share with others and in inspiring them and empowering them specifically is what we have here all right so you are meant to experience a happy home life and if that's something that has been troubling it is it is shaky because it is the universe giving you literally a sign to move towards what you do desire <laughs> welcome to h-town all right so we have confidence here pride poise assurance all right where does this confidence come from deck four knowing who you are something i said in another deck when you know who you are the emperor you will not hesitate to make decisions because you will know that you're the emperor and your desires are already yours you just have to be open to claim them all right so we also have unity connectedness harmony so if something is not working don't force it be open to other possibilities it should feel good it should feel easy it shouldn't have to be a strategy okay the universe is not trying to trick you why is the very happy life did it come out in reverse why is the ten of earth here temperance sagittarius energy queen of cups okay some of you guys could definitely be experiencing uh once again finding yourself this is a deeper connection with finding who you are what you enjoy and what you really love what what are you in love with there is a missing sense of this feeling of in loveness and not just with the person but in love with you in love with life o the ocean can be very important to you peace could be very important to you traveling could be important to you with exploring quest and exploration if that brings excitement to you that's your higher self saying yes that's a clue directly from the universe that is your higher self communicating with you and you're not doing this alone okay so we have balance and we have strength and magic and dance at the bottom all right you're you're meant to be dancing and having fun lots of childlike inner energy here it's not meant to be heavy it's not meant to be confusing it's meant to be very easy and very effortless and that's how you know it's God, it's good, it's easy, it's flowing, it's bringing harmony and connectedness and um, equilibrium into your life. This is exactly what you are attracting currently right now. And it also says dance with the rhythm of life, manifest your dreams through dance, dancing, music, having fun. I, obviously, these people were not here, now they're here. Having fun is clearly very important, <laughs> very, very important to your journey here, not taking life seriously, all right? Uh, believing in miracles all right so when you have a childlike perspective you are able to be open to believing in miracles and being open to the magic that surrounds you we also have strength this challenge will make you stronger so whatever it is that you're going through it's building who you are the universe is using it to create this new version of you um, every situation is an opportunity to grow and, and growing means you don't have to go through it anymore. 
okay so you will have the awareness you will have the the tools you have the insight now to be able to not have to go through certain doors so look for the gifts in this situation so something has really really changed in your life due to the situations that have been occurring in your life and even though you're coming up as the emperor someone who is in charge someone who is meant to be a leader someone who is meant to be financially secure a very happy family life financially financial security finding magic in the little things in life once again magic is very important to you deck number four believing in magic believing that this is real and in order to do that you must let go of the control of feeling like you have to make this happen because that's what's creating the distance and the divide between you and i feel like this divide is harmony within yourself honestly this is really about you and having harmony with yourself and contentment peace and abundance a happy home life the successful completion of a project all right so some of you guys could definitely be your you, the universe could be telling you to complete that project that maybe you started find the inspiration to create again creating comes through pleasure joy happiness so if you're not feeling good it could be very challenging to create because your sacral chakra is all about the pleasure and the creation and so it's very very important that i'm getting the yellow solar plexus chakra with the confidence of knowing who you are being very sure of who you are once you know who you are you walk in this emperor energy the emperor is someone who is in charge someone who is a magician in the sense of being very successful all right and i want to pull one more card all right deck number four messages for deck number four okay i didn't use this deck for the other three and that's because i feel like you guys are going through a very unique journey so yeah faith be confident and you will achieve your goals live in the present and have faith in the future so some of you guys maybe are looking at the future through the lens of the past assuming that it has to happen again that is a loop that you have to be aware of it says live in the present live in the present situation appreciate this moment you can only live in the here and now firmly believe in your value within the universe so how will you receive your desires i say that you're going to pay in faith how much faith do you have all right so let's get a couple more yeah lots of lots of uh, messages coming in here for deck four all right a new opening when one door closes i am confident another will open and will be more betterment for me i accept that life brings challenges and acknowledge the opportunity and learning they present to me serenity comes from within all right, so once again, this new opening is the spiritual quest with the, the blue, the third eye, okay? You speaking up, and then we have the solar plexus at the bottom, being true to you at the bottom. This is what this is all about. Who are you, okay? Because if you don't have confidence in, in this version of you, is it you? When you know who you are, you will feel it, all right? So this is all about getting to really, really, really know yourself, your doubts, your fears, all of that really getting to know who you are not by looking for them but just allowing life to happen just live life don't go looking for work and and inner work and all of that you are here now you are meant to move forward finding joy in life very innocently fun adventure inspiration it's not meant to be so hard i feel like you are gonna show people that it's not meant to be so hard, but you're still taken seriously as an emperor. There's a very beautiful balance here. We also have the Queen of Cups, as I mentioned, this is something that you're going to be in love with. What are you in love with? All right, let's get some last words from the universe in manifesting what it is that you're desiring. Deck four, a message directly. Thank you. At the bottom, we have, I release time and let the universe show me what to do. So that's what this is about, time. See, once we know what time or when or how, we limit the universe from, from delivering it in other ways. So if you release time, you basically allow a miracle to happen because it's out of time construct. 
But if it has to be within time construct, within the time, and especially if you know what the time is, it puts even more pressure on it, which is why weddings get crazy and everything else gets crazy. There's just so much pressure on it. So time adds a lot of that. So when you release it and let the universe deliver your desires, then they can come in various ways and not just in time. You don't want to know the time because that's how you limit it. So without knowing it, it becomes more possible. All right. So this is some some more spiritual things that you're you're walking towards this spiritual path because why it resonates it feels true it feels good it feels certain there are things that are true that are certain and guess what that's you following the light so welcome manifesting is the creative process creative process not action process of allowing understand you're already your desires are already there you're just allowing it to happen by aligning with the universe to co-create an experience that elevates your spirit here on earth, okay? You will feel tired, exhausted, worried, doubtful, fearful if you believe you're doing it on your own. Having a relationship with your higher future self, soul, spirit, just you, okay? Let's just say you. You, the real you, not your name, not what you do you without the labels without the descriptions then you will be able to align and see the truth here okay so there's a, a something that's getting ready to happen and that has been setting you up to see this in your life and so you are manifesting already and the desires are already here you just must align to receive them but if you are constructing receiving them with time you are limiting them, be open. And it can happen sooner or it can happen later, but at least you leave room for infinite possibilities, deck number four. And this does take bravery to let go of control and be vulnerable in letting the universe in something out, something that appears to be outside of you or unseen guide you. But it is within this GPS, this compass that is going to guide you to a happy family life, which is something you really want and desire. So your, your spirit guides are saying, hey, this is what we're doing. However, you have to align as well. And that may be releasing, making room. Making room means taking your energy away from, okay? So many, many things that you're here learning and I'm gonna pull one last card for you, deck number four. All right, you don't need anything. You don't need anything. You're in the right place. You're in the right, just trust. Your life is meant to be an exciting mystery. <laughs> That's the card that you guys just got, okay? Your life is meant to be an exciting mystery. Number 1717, 17, that could be important to you. So that's what this is about. It's, it's exciting. It's an adventure, seeing it from a childlike perspective and not so serious. So I hope that this brought some encouragement to you guys. If you're looking for this deck, you can find it at thepriestdecks.com or anything else I have going on down below. In the meantime, it looks like I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. So until then, don't forget to subscribe, like the video. I'm out, love and light.